Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to a new vlog. I know that my hair is giving Flintstones right now. I went to the Harry Styles concert last night with Way, the hair brand, if you guys are familiar with them. I love, they have really good products. Um, Jen Atkin is the founder. They, oh no, 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 oh my gosh. They took some influencers to the Harry Styles concert and we like sat in a box. It was really amazing. I, that's what I was talking about last week when I was saying like, oh my gosh, I got invited to something that I'm so excited about. I haven't been to like an event in a while. So it was the Harry Styles concert with Way, and it was incredible. Harry is a star, he's everything and more. You know after you go to a concert, you become more obsessed with the person. That's what happens to me every time. Tyson and I were talking about that, Ty came with me, and we were saying how after a concert, you're always like, wait, I'm obsessed with this like artist and you just wanna to listen to their music 24 seven after you, especially after you hear them live. So anyway, the concert was amazing and I didn't get home until like 2.30 a.m. because I drove to LA, it was in LA and um, I drove to Tyson's, we took an Uber there and back. Anyway, yeah, I didn't get home till super late and I was just exhausted and I had my hair done. They had people like hairstylists come and do our hair so I had my hair super slicked back and it was like there was no option of going to bed with that gel in my hair. Like I 100% had to shower when I got home so I got home like 2.30 a.m. and then I was trying to get my makeup and hair all off and that took a while. So I didn't go to bed till like after three. I slept in a little today and Leif is currently surfing right now. I am about to make a chai. I want to go put earrings in so bad. Like I think I'm going to. <laughs> is anyone else, I saw a TikTok that was like, does anyone else literally feel ugly without earrings? And I can relate. Like when I have little gold hoops in, I'm like, oh, I'm cute now. Um, I need to go grab some in my room also. BRB. Okay, I got my earrings in, so don't worry. I'm, I'm very confident now. I'm feeling very cute. I also wanted to say, you guys, thank you so much for just the love and your response on my last video. Sometimes it's just, don't tell me that was like chunky. Hope I uh, shook that enough. It looked a little thick. It's not always, you know, the easiest to admit things or be super open and vulnerable on the internet simply because of what I was the exact reason I was sharing last week obviously because you know you can get criticism for it and that's just a part of part of the territory and the job like your guys comments were so incredibly kind and like I don't want to start crying again we know I'm gonna start crying if I talk about this but just so thoughtful and like it just made me feel this like really huge wave of gratitude so I know that you guys are literally 99% of who's watching are just such good, nice, sweet hearted people and I am so grateful for that. Like I truly feel like I just have the best people on, on my team that have my back and I'm on, I'm on your team too and we just get each other and like I love it so much. I'm so grateful. So thank you guys. Um, it means the world to me. So way gave me a gift bag and I actually didn't even get to open it last night because we were just kind of like, I was getting my hair and makeup done, we went to the concert, came home, it was super late. So I'm gonna do like a little unboxing with you guys. Let's go into the living room. Oh my gosh, also, I'm gonna tell the story on TikTok probably because I feel like that's where like a lot of people know about the just Kendall Jenner fun, fun little conspiracy on TikTok more than anywhere. So when I had my hair done for that Mariposa shoot, when I did my main characters only collab with Mariposa last, like it was like months ago, I got my hair done by Reagan Link. She's an amazing hair girl. I found her on Instagram and I just love her. Like immediately when I met her, I was like, yep, I'm obsessed with you and you're so good at hair. Like she's so, so talented. And then Wei had like different hairstylists come to our place to do. Okay, I'm like full on telling the story. I was like, I'll tell the full story on TikTok. Whatever, I'll give the brief rundown. Wei had hairstylists for each of us, like assigned to each of us influencers who were going to the event to like come to our house or wherever we were to do our hair for the show. I got assigned Reagan and I was like, I love her, like I'm so happy because I know her. I've literally worked with one hair person in LA and it's her and she's just like so talented. And guess whose hair she has been doing? Kendall freaking Jenner. She's been doing Kendall's hair lately. I was like, okay, this is so, like what are the chances? Like her Instagram lately has been, if you go to it, I don't know if it's right now or when this is posted if it'll be the case, but like her feed is literally Kendall Jenner. It's just, 
it's the funniest thing. I'm like, okay, the one person I've worked with in LA, I'm working with her again, and she's been Kendall's like, I don't know, I don't wanna say she's her main hairstylist, but she's been doing her hair for a ton of events lately, like the past few months. So, you know, we may have talked about a few things at, um, when she was doing my hair, and I just could have never imagined, you guys, this situation blowing up to what it has become, and it's still, I don't know, the girls that get it, get it. It's just so funny, like, I cannot. The thing is about the joke, is, and just the whole thing, is like, I don't wanna be annoying about it or like beat a dead horse, you know what I mean? But things keep, like, I'll just be like, oh, like, the joke is over, it's funny. And then things like this will happen where it's like, oh, now I'm working with Reagan and she does Kendall's hair. That's the closest connection that I would, you know what I mean? It's like, that I've ever had to Kindle is what I'm saying. Like, it's so just like she's has been with her a lot. Kind of crazy, kind of funny. Okay, let's see what's in this gift bag. Guys, if you don't follow me already on um, Instagram, I never plug my Instagram, honestly. But you should go follow me. I've been posting some fun. I just like, I don't post that often, to be honest, but I've just been accumulating, accumulating like fun photos and then I'll just do a photo dump every once in a while and it's fun. I just did like a cozy photo dump. It just makes me feel so like warm and fuzzy inside the, the photo dump I just posted. Like it's so, it's giving me the cozy fall vibes. Here is the gift bag. First, we have this cute little like towel tote bag. Cute. Love. Next we have tequila. I should have left this with Tyson or should I say tequila? Ooh, beautiful. Hand wash. Body cleanser. Okay, I am two seconds from running out. I literally have this much body soap left from, um, or body wash from Necessaire. I use the Necessaire. This actually looks kind of similar, but that's perfect timing because I was just gonna order one today. I was like, I only have enough soap to wash my body like one more time. Ooh, perfume, North Bondi perfume. Hand lotion, gorgeous. I think I'm gonna put this in my guest bathroom or maybe my bathroom, I don't know. Dry shampoo, we love dry shampoo in this household. I've actually never used the way one. <gasps> yes, I was hoping this would be in here. Detox shampoo, this is one of my favorite products, just like in general, but from way specifically, this is a really good product if you have greasy hair. It's a shampoo that you can, you can use like, I would usually do it like once a week. Does it have apple cider vinegar? Yeah, it has apple cider vinegar, which a lot of people recommend to like, clarify, like purify, I don't know if I'm using the right word, but detox basically your scalp and it makes your hair way more voluminous and stuff. I'm a big fan of that. Leave-in conditioner, gorgeous. Oh, is it an air freshener for your car? Cute. Stop, that's so cute. I love that. <gasps> Why is that so beautiful? Wow, that's cute. Love, I feel like that's good for wet hair. Sometimes I use like a brush. Actually, one of you guys were like, um, never do that again. <laughs> On one of my YouTube videos, I was like brushing my wet hair with like a brush and I was having no mercy. Did anyone else's mom just like do that to them when they were a kid? Like, I feel like my mom would just like brush my hair super hard. Oh, this was the, um, I had, I had actually read this last night, but it says we can't wait. Get it? O-U-A-I-T. To see you tonight at Harry's house, enjoy this. Pre enjoy these pre-show goodies. Don't forget to bring your tickets and a valid ID. Well, wow, what a great little gift bag. And I feel just like so spoiled and lucky that I got to have that experience. It was really, really cool. It also made me want to go to concerts more because I haven't gone to a concert. The last concert I went to was Tame Impala. Leif and I went to Tame Impala the day before COVID, like the whole world shut down. We were literally at the concert and I remember being like, wait, should we be here? Like it was when COVID had just started becoming like a big thing and people were starting to get worried, but it was before any lockdown of any kind. But we were both like, I remember not wanting to touch the seats or like, I think I brought hands and I was just like freaked out because we didn't know what was to come. And then literally the next day, like um, Tame and Paula, they canceled all their shows. Like we went to, I think maybe the only one that they did that whole year. That was the last time I was at a concert, I believe, right? But it made me want to like look up other concerts and be like, wait, are more people I like coming to LA because I wanna go. Okay guys, I just got out of my dermatologist appointment, got a little skin check. I have this, um, just like a few little moles that one of them is on my stomach and I swear it like 
has grown and so I just wanted to get it checked out but I got it checked a few years ago I got it checked a few years ago they were like yeah it's no problem but it's like grown and kind of changed since then so I wanted to get it checked out again and again they were like yeah like it's totally fine so that's good news but I got a few of my little moles I have like one on my neck so I got that and one of my stomach checked and she said that there's no problem there I talked to her about my acne she prescribed me a few things so I'm very excited to try I will keep you guys updated I'm gonna be using tretinoin I think it's called that and not tretinoin I thought it was tretinoin but then I think she was saying tretinoin but it's like a topical cream that you put on. So I'm doing that and another topical cream. Anyway, I'm gonna get them from my pharmacy by my house when I, um, like probably just on my drive home. On my way, I'll pick it up. And she said just at night, do like a gentle cleanser and then put on the two topical things and then moisturizer if I need it. And then morning, just gentle cleanser and then exfoliate two to three times a week. And then a serum, moisturizer, SPF. Anyway, so I'm excited about that. It's so funny. Literally the day I go to the dermatologist, I have like none of the big zits. I'm like, of course my skin decides to like be on its best behavior the day that I go and tell them I have acne. Also, you guys, I had the sweetest interaction with this lady when I was walking into the dermatologist. She had like a walker and she was walking kind of alongside me and then we were talking. She was like talking to me. She complimented my hair. She's like, your hair is so beautiful. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then we kind of started talking and then we were on the elevator together and then she needed help and anyway, and then I was like helping her open the door and she was just talking to me about how her sons, both of her sons have red hair, but like neither her or her husband have red hair. And so they were like really shocked by it. And she was saying just like how beautiful red hair is and how she loves it. And then at the end of our like conversation, she was like, you, I just want you to know you are such a blessing. Like you are such a blessing to me today. Sobbing, like <gasps> how sweet is that? My, I'm getting teary, it was so cute. And she was just so nice, this older lady. I love having sweet interactions with strangers because it um, reminds me that the world is good. You know what I mean? <sighs> I love it. We do a podcast episode usually once a year. I think we're gonna do another one this year about like the nicest thing that someone's ever done for you. And it literally, we, we just like sob the whole episode. We're like, people are so nice. Like it just reminds you that, you know, the world isn't all bad. And there's a lot of really sweet, kind hearted people. So anyway, just a sweet little, a sweet little interaction I had. I am so thirsty right now. You know, when you're just like parched, that's how I feel right now. Also, we're not gonna tell the lady that my hair was fake, okay? I could not break it to her. She just kept going on and on about how my hair was so gorgeous, and I'm like, I'm not about to tell you that this is hair dye. You will be under the impression that this is all natural, baby. I didn't want to ruin her day, you know what I mean? We just got done with a shoot, a long shoot day for what we said. And now, we just got boba. We're in LA. Wait, how is it, Beth? This? Yeah. It is definitely not sweet. Really? But I still like it. The boba itself is sweet. Like, if you get a bite with the boba, you'll like it. Okay. Beth and I both got this, like, taro milk tea. I got taro too. Oh, you did? <laughs> Wait, why are your hairs different than mine? Oh, because they're smoothie. Because the smoothie. I got the no smoothie, and Beth and I got ours 30% sweet, and she just said it's not sweet at all. Yeah, mine's a lot like sun sweet, and it tastes... Oh, I like it. Yeah, I was like, I don't think it's like bitter or anything. And the boba's sweet, so when you get it with a bite of the boba... It needs to be colder. I know. It needs to be colder. Guys, this is really good. This is actually very, very good. I haven't had boba in a long time. We're matching Valley Girls today. You know what it is. We're getting burgers. We just got done. Well, we just drove back home and we're starving. We don't have the time or the energy. It's 8.05 8 p.m. So we're getting some burgers and fries. And then I'm gonna go to sleep because it's been a very long day and we actually have another LA day tomorrow, Chelsea and I do, for a podcast recording. So I'll take you guys along for that. That'll be fun. Um, I need to literally strategically right now plan when we should leave so that we don't hit traffic. Do you guys know that you can map something and like now on Apple or yeah, Apple Maps and then say that you want to leave at like a certain time. Like I'm going to leave tomorrow at 2 p.m. When will I get there? Lake was showing me that. I don't know how you do it though. It's Apparently crazy. you can add stops too. Like if you need to stop at the gas station, you can add that or something. Yeah. Cool. But it's newer because that only used to be like you could do that on Waze. So I would no, go on Waze. No, you do it on Oh, no, yeah, you could do it on ways before, and so I would always do that. Something's on fire. I think it's just oh. The, it's just the grill, I think. 
not the black smoke. Apple's really catching up though with their maps game. You can see hazards now. You can on Apple? I think so, yeah. Really? Or like speed traps or something maybe? That's solely to get rid of ways. Here's the thing, apps need to stay in their own lane, but I understand yeah. also why they don't because they make so much money by getting in other people's mm -hmm. lanes. Like TikTok, stay TikTok. Stop doing Be Real, stop doing TikTok now. Mm -hmm. No, Be Real. Stay be real. They they have stayed, but I have a feeling they're gonna change because they're gonna try and monetize some more soon. How do you feel about reels? You think those Instagram too far? reels? Yeah. I hate it. Really? I mean, I saw, I've never seen a single thing of IGTV is not the vibe. Reels are all just reposted TikToks. It's, yeah. it's, it's stupid. Much, Facebook has its own like, like. It's like a bunch of like crafty stuff, and they'll start with like the finished product. Product like them working and finishing it just for a second and then it goes into like a 10 minute video yeah. of them making it. Interesting. And I get sucked in. Sometimes. You watch videos on Facebook? Well, I'm shocked. Because I'll go to Facebook Marketplace but you have to go mm. to the Facebook app. Right. I also get that you have to like evolve with the times. That makes me feel like, have you seen TikTok stories? Like you know how TikTok has stories? Yeah. And I was saying before like when I deleted Instagram I was like I feel like if TikTok came out with stories, I would not even use Instagram anymore because it's like, then you kind of have the best of both worlds. It's like you get to post v videos, and then have you seen on TikTok how you can like post photos? Like, uh -oh. um, yeah, it scrolls. It's like a little phone. slideshow kind oh, of. Oh yeah. And it just like goes to the next one. Uh, but it's like stories. Yeah. It's almost taking over Instagram. If it has yeah. stories, you can post like slideshows of your videos, mm -hmm. or sorry, of your photos, and then also videos. It's kind of the whole package, yeah. but also I'm like, stop, because I want, I don't want to do stories on TikTok too, yeah. but maybe if I only was doing them on there, then I wouldn't care, I don't know. Can't you do stories on YouTube too, maybe? I don't even know. Stories, yeah, so. shorts, who knows? Yeah. I got a grilled cheese, which I didn't realize is basically just a cheeseburger without the meat. Melted cheese and some lettuce and some sauce but honestly it's hitting the spot you guys I came home mm. to such an exciting fact <laughs> your your side the back. <sighs> sauce. it's been a long day folks it's been a long long day a package from skinny confidential so honored so I got the pink balls massager have you guys seen this thing it looks so Satisfying. I'm obsessed with my Skinny Confidential Ice Roller. It is truly next level. This little guy is like a facial roller that you do this with and like sculpt your face and stuff. I wanna read a little bit more about it. Instant facelift. Innovative tool manipulates the facial muscles, tightening, toning, and chiseling. Roll her upwards along the cheeks and jawline and downwards on the neck. Okay. Ice roll, oil, and now facial, ma facial massage for your tightest face ever. I just love stuff like this so much for like de-puffing and sculpting and just all of it. Like, give it to me. How beautiful. See, something about, oh, that already feels so good. I don't want to put it on my face because I have makeup on. So I'm going to wait till my like face is clean. Maybe I can use it tomorrow morning. I just love how like innovative and beautiful Lauren's products are. I feel like she's truly like, you know, there's a gap in the market and she's filling it. You know what I mean? Sometimes I just feel like with some brands, it feels like it's already been done or something. Or you're like, okay, you could just get it on Amazon. But all of her products are so heavy duty and good quality and unique and gorgeous. I don't know. I just love them a lot. I think that she's doing an amazing job. Anyway, she also sent me her new like planner notebook thing. I feel very cool receiving this package. Like, what? Your morning planner. Ooh. Some cute little stickers. A note from Lauren. Pink dreamy planner belongs to blank. <gasps> Ooh, this is very satisfying. Catch me about to get back into my writing down, like my planner era, because normally I just write things on my phone. But you know what I like about this one? So it has, you do the month, the day, the year, and so it's not set to anything. Like you can, you know, do it whenever. Can you guys even see anything? It's so dark right now. Like, I was gonna wait until tomorrow to unbox this, because I was like, it's like nighttime, but 
I was just too impatient and now I'm like, can you guys even see anything? Here's kind of what it looks like inside, but basically it has a spot for your skincare routine, for your gratefuls, your intentions, book, meditation, music, podcast, workout that you would do that day or that, you know, any things that apply. I don't think you have to do every single one of those. And then a to-do list and then weekly micro goals. This kind of seems like it could be really good for keeping like your schedule in order and stuff. I really, really like that. I like that it has a spot for your skincare routine, especially since I'm like now using these different products. Um, not that they're like hard to, like it's hard to remember, but I don't know, it's kind of just cute and nice to write down your skincare routine too. Well, I love this. This is so cute. Oh, of course, I love that it's pink and very excited about the pink, the pink balls as well. So, so good. <laughs> very much lunch. It's yeah. 1 p.m. It's a brunch type vibe. True. We're going to Earth Cafe, which I have not been here in so, so long. But you know what I want to get, Leif? Let's see if you know me well. I haven't gotten it in literally so long years. I forgot what it's called, but like the golden latte thing. Yeah, it's like a turmeric, turmeric drink. It's like a golden latte type of thing, but it has boba, or you can get it with boba. So good. I want to get it for sure. We're in our boba grind in this vlog. Lady, are you stressed? You want to go? We brought Lady, of course, to our little brunch date. You know what Leif is wearing is another one of our flea market finds. Wait, should we go to the flea market on Saturday? Saturday. Remember? The 30th. Oh, it's Sunday. Sunday. It's Sunday. Should we go to the flea market that day? This was another, this little Reebok t-shirt. I'm trying to show them, but it's kind of hard to see. Um, it's like a vintage little Reebok uh, long sleeve shirt that we got there also. Speaking of Reeboks, I am wearing my new Reeboks that I'm actually getting to work with them on Instagram and it's like a dream come true. When I work with brands who are so open to just like creative freedom and like I send them the photos and I'm like, perfect, we love it. It just like makes my heart soar because Soar, S-O-A-R, not the other one. Um, because sometimes brands are just really nitpicky and that's like their thing. Like if they want certain things, I get that. But it's really nice when they just let you be creative and do what you want. So I took some cute photos um, in the Reebok and they're like my new favorite go-to sneakers. By the way, they're kind of similar to the New Balance 550s that I have, but they're like a different shape and I love the little like green accent and stuff. So anyway, I love you Reebok. Thank you for working with me. I'll link the shoes for you guys in the description too. Also, I was gonna say that the skincare stuff I started using, I'll show you guys later in this vlog. I'll show you guys when I get home because I think I'm gonna put it on tonight. I put it on on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe I should wait one more day, but basically my dermatologist said to like only put it on like two or three times a week because at first it can actually make your skin like worse. Like it goes through a purging process. My skin, even this morning, it's actually not that bad, but yesterday it was like kind of dry and flaky around my chin area. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I think if you use, a, use it a little bit less and you like ease into it, then it doesn't freak your skin out as much. I'll show you guys when I put it on either tonight or tomorrow, but I hope my skin doesn't freak out because that would really suck. Okay, we're trying it. Just as good as I remember. <coughs> I think I got some cinnamon in my throat. Look how gorgeous. I saw they had a, also a pumpkin pie latte boba. Did you see that? Which looks really good, but I don't like coffee, so I stuck with my original choice. You guys, sometimes I just look at this and I'm like, how is this where I live? Like, how is this near where I live? It's so beautiful. The vibes are truly immaculate today. How is this real? So beautiful. I don't know if you guys know, Leif is in his uh, clogs era. What are they called in Boston Fogs? Birkenstock Boston or something? 
we love that. Guys, it is the most glorious, beautiful day. It's kind of feeling like fall, but just like, you know, I can get away with just being in this little shirt and not being cold. And we're just sitting here, hanging out. It's so nice. So nice. Lady girl. So we were just, we just went on a long walk around, we ate and then we went on a long walk. <laughs> and as we're coming back to our car, walking back, we're like crossing the crosswalk and this lady just reaches down to pet lady and lady did not like it at all. It shocks me when people don't ask if they can pet your dog. She just looks so cute and like, when she's just with us and no one's bothering her, she looks very inviting and sweet. Yeah, she does. And she is sweet and friendly, but only she if she knows know you. you. Like, she doesn't like to just be pet randomly. And it's because she's so just like cute and literally looks like a little teddy bear. So many people, like this happens, I swear, every time we're out, like someone will just reach down like kind of aggressively, be like, oh, and like go to pet her. And she literally is like, <sighs> freaking out she'll growl at them and like bare her teeth and they and we're just like sorry yeah she kind of like lunged at her yeah and like she never bites no she'll but never she'll, bite like, anyone kinda touch her teeth she'll so. just go yeah go and like so, go towards you we're gonna pull all of her teeth out oh my gosh but it's kind of one of those things where it's just like what do we do she's just she's just gonna be like that forever or maybe the older she gets she won't care as much you know what it's just circumstantial like sometimes she does fine fine well I was saying when people just lean down and they put their hand out she'll usually go up and like sniff them but I think the you difference can't, like, is approach yeah like if you approach and get into her bubble she does not like it so you have to kind of let her come to you and it just I guess because we have lady I like know how she is so I would never pet someone someone's dog like without asking that's just because first of all dogs can be dangerous like if you don't know if they're aggressive or if they don't like to be pet obviously again lady has never bit anyone she probably will never but especially bigger dogs i don't know i would be way too scared to pet a random dog i feel like i always would ask but otherwise an amazing afternoon yeah we took a little micro nap yeah we laid on the grass felt so good oh it was nice. great weather but you didn't like your drink. The drink was too sweet. I was gonna say we could go to um, Laguna Coffee Company if you want, unless you don't care, but. No, I don't care. No, because um, I think it's right here. I was wanting to take you to it. Mm. I went with Caitlin once and it was good. It was like a cute little vibe. Let's go home, okay. take another nap. <laughs> okay. So I woke up from, how long do you think I slept for? It was definitely over an hour. Yeah. Like an hour and a half nap, which felt so good, but I hope I can fall asleep tonight because it was late, late in the day. It was like from six to seven probably. But anyway, we just ordered some sushi and we're watching the Suns game and having just kind of like a cozy night in, feeling nice and just content. You know what? My aura ring, I actually haven't worn my aura ring for like the past few days because it was dead and then I just forgot to charge it. My aura ring said that I've napped four times in the past three months, which I feel like is not a lot at all. That's like one nap a month. Um, that like was very eye-opening because I feel like I take naps. I don't know, maybe it's not detecting it, but I was like, really? I only take one nap every like four weeks. I guess that kind of makes sense. I usually only take naps on the weekends if I do, but anyway. Um, we're gonna eat some food, watch the Suns game. I also was just shopping online on Newly for a dress to wear to my cousin's wedding. It's coming up in like a few weeks, and I realized I didn't have a, an outfit, but I love Newly because it's like, you know, you guys know what Newly is, right? If you listen to the podcast, it's like a rental service thing where you can like rent uh, six items of clothes a month. Anyway, so. I'm subscribed to that, so I rented a few dresses. Stay tuned to see which one I like. I just need to like try them all. I, I ordered four dresses to see which one I like for the wedding, and then I ordered two other items just for like fun. Just cute little like sweaters and stuff, but that is gonna be spicy. Yeah, just take that off. Jalapeno is like, here's our situation. Welcome to my bathroom. We're gonna do a little nighttime 
Get Unready With Me skincare routine. This is what I use to take off my eye makeup. I've been using it for years. I feel like it's the only thing that like really just gets all the stuff off. Mascara, eyeliner, whatever you have on your eyes. It just works really well. It's Lancome and so I use that with a little cotton pad which I have some reusable ones and I just need to wash them because they're all you know, in order to reuse them, you have to wash them, and I just have not washed them in a little bit, so I need to do that, because I would love to use those more often. I never use makeup wipes anymore, which I used to, and now I just feel like they're way too rough on my skin, and I don't like that, like, just the way they make my skin feel, it really dries out everything, so I prefer to use, like, cotton pads with a makeup remover, or I have this cleansing balm, like makeup remover stuff from Elemis that I'll actually probably use tonight as a quick layer to get my makeup off before I cleanse. Actually, you know what? I don't think I'll need to do that because I don't have that much makeup on today. So I'm probably just gonna double cleanse, which a lot of people recommend to really just make sure that everything is off your face dirt, makeup, all of it. Like the first cleanse is kind of like a run through and like you're getting most of it. And then the second usually is like guaranteeing that you're getting everything. This is the cleanser that I've been using and I really like it cause it's like very gentle. It's the cleansing gel by Skin Better Science. These things, I've mentioned these on the podcast. It's not what you think. Literally fuzzy handcuffs. They are these little like towel wristbands that go around your wrists. And then when you wash your face and the water's like coming down, it doesn't go all down your arms. This is especially amazing if you self tan like I do, because then it like gets your self tanner all ruined if the water's going down your face and stuff. Anyway, I always wear those because it's just very, very nice. And then I also wear a little head wrap thing, headband. I have a couple of these. This particular one is the Skin by Kim. So we're gonna double cleanse. I just get my hands a little or my hands and my face a little bit wet. Do a pump of cleanser. Make sure it's kind of like lathered and soapy. See that? And then go in. Another tip is to wash your face for a full minute, which seems like a long time. Like when I'm doing it, I literally just want to do it for like 10 sec like 20 seconds. But that's actually a tip from Celeste Thomas. She's super into skincare and like clean skincare and stuff. And she was on our podcast like a while ago years ago, and that has always stuck with me. She said, wash your face for a full minute. And so I always think about that when I'm cleansing, especially at night, to really just make sure I get everything. You guys, my, my chin is just now feeling like a part of my body. Like when I do this, it feels like a real, like it's just my real chin. It has not felt like that up until now. Like every day it gets more and more like that. But recently I'm like, wait, like, it doesn't feel like a fake chin. <laughs> it feels like it's real. There are moments, like I can kind of do weird if I touch it in a certain way, I'm like, wait, it kind of feels weird, but pretty much just feels a part of me now. We love her. Second cleanse. Not me getting water all over my hair still. Cool. Now dry off the face. This is my facial towel. Okay, so my dermatologist was saying in order to or like when I put the stuff on, the cream, this is what it looks like by the way, my face should be very dry when I do that. So she's like, let it dry for a couple minutes. Don't just like put it on right after and have any wetness. So while my skin is just drying, I'm gonna like brush my teeth and floss and all that good stuff and then we'll be back. Okay, now my face is totally dry. In fact, it's feeling it's feeling a little too dry, but this is the cream. You just do like a pea size for your whole face. They say it's more than enough. Okay. And rub her in. Also gonna add a tiny bit to my neck. That jawline and like little neck breakouts that I've been getting. Now I'm gonna put this moisturizer on. It's from Facial Lounge, which is where I get my facials. I'm gonna use it because it's more, it's thicker than a lot of my other moisturizers. And I feel like I need extra moisture right now with 
just it being a little bit drier in the air during this time of year and also with using this new product. Also, my, my nose has been like getting so dry. I don't, I think it might be from, well, I guess I was sick a while ago, but just from like blowing my nose a million times, I feel like my skin just started to get super flaky and dry around my nose. Okay, last but not least, Vaseline. I think I've told you guys this, but my mom is a Vaseline gal. She has used Vaseline like every day and night of my entire life. I don't know if it's just because of that, but it's like, I can't be without Vaseline. Like, I don't use it every single day. It just feels like a staple, I don't know, for just like stuff like this. Like if your skin is dry or if your lips are cracked, like right here on the corner of my lip, super dry. So I just put Vaseline. I like to just lather it all up before I go to bed and feel like a glazed donut. It's time for bed, Leif. Are you in your Skims era? Yeah, I have Skims top. Skims boyfriend tea, the best. So, I'm not super tired yet. That's why I have my Kindle. I'm currently reading It Starts With Us, which in my last vlog I accidentally said it was an alternate perspective to It Ends With Us, but it's actually just the sequel. It's like the next book in the series to end it all out. So, It Ends With Us, it's like that's, you know, the most popular Colleen Hoover book, I believe. It Starts With Us is the one she just released, and it's the sequel. So that's what I'm reading. I'm, let's see how far I am into it. I'm pretty far. Is it a prequel? No. Sequel. Because it's what happens after. But they do talk about some stuff that happened also before. I'm 66% of the way finished. So honestly, maybe I'll finish it while I'm laying in bed tonight. And then go to sleep. That sounds nice. So yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for coming throughout my week with me. This was a fun one. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on some fun stuff. We have a little fall trip coming up. It'll be really fun. You know the vibes. So make sure you're subscribed. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.